Well, hello everyone. Oh, excuse me, that burp came out of nowhere. Uh, welcome back to this Let's Play Colex Sun Eater in Total War Warhammer 3. Um, I'm struggling a wee bit to remember what I was doing because I know how I say this normally every second part, but this has been a seriously long time. I think it's been about a month since I've had a chance to sit down and play this campaign. Because um, at first I got really busy. Then I uh, fell ill with uh, COVID, and then I got really busy again, like just tried to sort all my shit out after coming out of COVID and being unable to do a lot of stuff for like a week. Um, in that time, I've moved the game from my SSD to a regular hard drive, because I'm struggling for space on my SSD at the moment. So uh, I'm probably going to be cutting out some more loading screens and stuff like that, but it's nothing that's really going to impact you, it's just so you're aware. And I got a warning that I loaded in that the game has been updated at some point in time. Um, this is an old save, so there might be a couple of artifacts just of the being a different version of the game this save is from. So, with those caveats out of the way, let's continue. I take it I was about to conquer here, or raise here, or do something to here. Give it to my vassal, maybe. Boom. Raise, sack, occupy, let's say uh, raise. Boom. Warrior's Bane. Got a ranking up for this guy here. Let's get. He's got his War Shrine. Now, am I going to want to swap out his War Shrine for a Manticore or am I going to want to keep him on the War Shrine? Because the War Shrine provides buffs to nearby people, doesn't it? But the Manticore will be good for his fire magic, being able to move around the map fast, like. Drop a burning head over here, boom, over the other side of the map. Draw some fire thing, bounce some burning. Um, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. What actually I'm going to want to drop this into? He's already got Arcane Conduit. Already got a Fernal Champion, 10% to Missile Resistance. He is a big boy now that he's on the War Shrine or Manticore, depending on what way I go. Yeah, the Manticore will make him a lot better at combat. But his health will go down a lot. Yeah, the Manticore will make him very squishy. So I think we might keep him on the War Shrine. Keep him just behind the line of troops. Path to glory, ascension to champion. Attuned to, oh, I, I can't. How did I get ascension to champion there? Attuned to shaman, mortal prophet, partners in chaos. I like the burning head. Let's get some of the upgrades for burning head. I probably maybe should get scouting at some point too if I've got spear skill points. Right. That's all their movement done. Right. You have my favor. Got my secondary army there just sort of holding. We do have a wee bit of money. That's just growth. I may want to pull that down at some point soon, so spending money on it. Oh, you definitely get me that! I want that! Yeah, that to level 2. Mm, it does double its plus. Nengal. We took the major that we did. Our original fortress up here. It's got to get to 5. It's not going to be that long till it gets to 5. We may delete this some point soon then. Well, I suppose we'll wait till we get to 5, then we'll delete it. Then we'll delete it. I have got new gifts and... Oh, that's just this here. We're not even using all our gifts. I took them out to save up the souls, didn't I? For stuff like this guy getting a promotion. Requires him to rank up a bit, though. The corn to Nurgle. This guy can devote to Zinch or Slanesh. Why can't 
It's not fear. Interference will cost you dear. And uh, Nurgle was a bad idea. I shouldn't have chose. Nurgle and Zinch don't play well together. To see Zinch, I've got negative one authority, but I've got a lot of Zinch units. I really needed this guy. This guy to be able to be Zinch, which is what I was counting on, but he can't for some reason. Fire cannot turn into a Zinch sorcerer. Don't know how. Yes, Maybe there's a lure reason I'm unaware of. But. Zinch likes pink fire, Zinch likes blue fire. I don't see why a fire mage couldn't turn into a Zinch sorcerer. And yeah, I really should have chose corn or slanesh. I was one of the things I thought about. I remember thinking, oh, these ones play nicely together and those ones play nicely together. But then the second that I went and actually done it, it's like all that went out my mind. And I was just like, yeah, I'll just do Nurgle. It's like, I planned this! I planned this and I thought about it, but then when I did it, it was like, I forgot I even planned it or did anything. I was like, yeah, just go now go. Why did I do that? I don't know! Alright, let's get you. None of this really matters anyway, because when you get your promotion to a god, it's gonna go bye byes. Definitely get back inside my territory so we recover a lot faster. Lovely. If memory serves, you can, don't get whoremasters of specific gods, do you? So they should get their variant on them, the Striders. I could see you could get corn horse, marauder horse masters. That would make sense to me. It's a bit weird you only get undivided ones. Oh well. I foresee like destruction. There. I need more vassals! Give me more vassals. Oh. Yeah, no one near Chevron enough. Why have I still got an armored troll unit? Regiment or now I could maybe pop one of them. Regiment or now giant. That's not actually a bad idea. It'd give me like a centerpiece. But you know what I really would want is a centerpiece as a shag off. Is there a that's a hell cannon? Skull crushers of corn. Like replacing these with a shag off and a hell cannon too would be nice actually. Maybe we get rid of one unit of dragon ogres for the shag off and get rid of him for the cannon. Another thing I could do with one more unit of halberds too, it's to get it up there. Like, because I hate just having three. It's a weird number, and I like splitting them up equally across the sides, like two on each flank of anti-large. And the three is there's nothing bad about it. There's nothing like. Strategically, like, obviously four is better than three, but there's no, like, composition-wise, like, four is the magic number we must have. It's just humans are built to, like, symmetry, and four is a much nicer... Like, three is my favourite, one of my favourite numbers. Three is my uh, lucky number, my favourite number. But just... When it comes to having units, four is just a much nicer number, and you can split them into two groups of two. It's just nice. It's symmetrical, and humans are made to like that. Province secured. Very nice work, my vassals. Very nice so work nice. indeed. I think he just colonised that though, actually. I don't think he actually did much right. There was somewhere that was just about to finish this upgrade. Where was it? It was here. So definitely let's spend a lot of money on the making money. Money on making money. We've got it. Spare. Money on. Well, I suppose that's making money too. This doesn't provide any money, does it? And we're not. I should check on 
that. This would provide money and give us access to dragon ogres. But no shagoffs. How do you get shagoffs? Can you only get them through gifted units? I'm guessing we'll get them through some of this stuff then. I will destroy. Who's that? Grand Cafe. Right, let's just keep heading this way. We'll recover some more and then we'll go after these armies. I let my vassals keep expanding. They will be dominated. You dare. I bow only before the dragons. Okay. So we've got my Nurgle hero in here. Let's go his horse, his chariot. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Why does he have no equipment on? We definitely have spare equipment. So, Star Crush has been used there. Okay, we actually do not have that much equipment at all, do we? You will give him the swift Sword of Swift Slaying. Well, it looks like he has a very big axe. The spoilers, come. The spoilers will come. We have all of here. Let's get. Wait, negative four control. Uh, I don't want that one. Yeah, just make it a bit easier to hold on to then. In turn. They took the terracotta graveyard back. They ain't gonna take it back for long, I tell you that for nothing. Pop, 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 pop. 135 turns. Uh, turns remaining? Uh, factions remaining. The wild hunt begins! A brutal business. No! Right, we're not going to get there this turn. Wait, is this blue too? Oh, this is blue. Brilliant. Because he owns there. Right, so we'll replenish in here too. I was going to head right up to the border thinking that that will be the border of here, but it's not. That, for some reason... Like, this city here controls this land right down here, right beside the settlement, which is great for us, so I'm not going to complain. Right. Are you a god? Are you a god? Yes, I am. Burning through our money though. We started upgrading here as well, didn't we? Did we finish it? We did not. Three more turns. Three more turns. How are we doing here? Four. It's going to take 13 turns to get that. You know what? We will upgrade this then. We will upgrade it for that extra growth. For chaos! You know, we could start moving this guy out to help him get extra experience from being support in battle. So I'm going to need to be careful with him, because it would be easy to lose him and his characters. Are you a god? Yes, I am! Which, exactly like this. It says Pyrrhic victory, we're not going to lose anyone though, so... I didn't expect him to come out when he seen the other army there. And we won anyway. So... We will go for the souls and the money. Sacrifice the captives. We may get him to raise the terracotta graveyard then, so that Sunny can keep on moving. And then we'll get him to recover in here for a wee bit or something. We got a mission here. It's probably to kill that character. I'm too lazy. Too lazy to send agents after him. Oh, they've taken it. Nice. Mount gained Chaos Steed. Mount gained Chaos Steed. 
Path to glory unlocked. 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 Now it's chaos. Right, so path to glory. I thought this guy got it. Must have just been one of the other guys. Ah, he's level four still. Still on level two low. Right, as for now, let's get you Gehenna's golden hound. Excellent. As for you. Let's give you corn. Yeah, dedicate you to corn. Which will come back here and we'll do training and blade master. That's for you. Two points, you've already got root marcher, you've already got chaos steed, let's be dominating presence. All non demonic infantry units, yes please. The gods Oh, wrong button. And let's uh, Oh, requires bra secret branding iron technology. Okay. Star Crusher. Let's move you right up to the border oh, there. Man. Nice units are renowned there. Sparring champions. Just the gifted units. Warband recruitment, see if there's anything juicy nearby, which there isn't. Let's just keep on moving you up. That will incur my wrath! That will incur my wrath! Saying there's a red city right here. Has this been conquered by someone? Why is that still red? Owner, and just nobody. I wonder why that's shown up as red. Right, two turns till that's done. Seeing as it takes so long to upgrade it, we'll do that there too. I'm going to need to check my victory conditions once we've ended this war, probably next turn. Because we're going to want to keep marching towards them! Shouldn't be too long till we reach them. You there start besieging. Oh well, I was gonna start sieging, but seems simple enough victory. Potion of healing. Subtegate. We can get a new vassal out of them. Which would make Colex stronger, though I do not they're not chaos. So how long will they stay vassalized? That's the real thing. Ooh, very nice. I thought we'd already defeated her, but that's the first time we've beaten her. Expert charge defense, which is cool like Sunnier. He's going to be doing the charging, so that's not too good. But the free extra melee defense for the whole army, the whole Lord's army, that is really good. That's one of the best ones I've seen, because it buffs your whole army. So that's every single individual man in the army getting free melee defense. Reminds me of a... Uh, uh, playing Shogun Total War and you were playing as the who was it but they were like the religious extremist Buddhists is it the Iko Iki and they basically they had their Ashigaru units were even weaker than the other Ashigaru units but they were a lot bigger than the other Ashigaru units so I used to feel like they started off weaker than the other Ashigari units because they could get chow chewed through and eaten up even by other Ashigari units because they were a wee bit weaker. But I felt like uh, the buffs you got from technology and other stuff you could put on them were a lot more impactful. So they started off 
weaker than other Ashigaru units. They were still weak, like all Ashigaru to ranged attacks, really weak. But once you got like some buffs in there, maybe you recruited them from like a place with a forge, which gave them more armor, or maybe you recruited like a you got some technology that buffs them, or a lord that buffs them. Those buffs, I felt, went a lot longer than, it, like, did a much more difference because it was bringing, it was diminishing that gap of their individual men being weaker, and there was a lot more of them, so if you buff 400 men by one point, it's better than buffing 50 men by three points kind of thing, if you get what I'm saying. Right, so we got some stuff in here, let's see. So he's got all his big buffs. That's good. And he's got both of them. He's got enough armor. Charge bonus would be nice, but I think we're gonna go for hard to hit. So we can get four seeker, get what I really want, Woundmaker, get up an extra twenty percent melee damage. Oh yes. Oh yes. Here's Churchill voice again. If you don't, if you're not British and have no idea what I'm talking about, just because I'm, I don't think other countries have Churchill. I think Churchill's just a British company. Um, look up the Churchill ads on YouTube. He like that is Colic definitely sounds like that dog. Oh yes. You know what, we will throw a point into scouting, because we're really low on magic items. And it's getting kind of like, uh, what now? Right, heroic killing blow. Boom. We got a new vassal, which will buff Kolik as well, because he gets... Buffs his mass and his charge bonus, or I can't remember. Whenever that's done, and that's that war finished. Destruction for all! That is that war finished. Let's say. Uh, Star Crusher. Victory conditions. So we've. Oh, destroy the current. I've vassalized them. Oh, have I just screwed myself? Oh. 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 Okay, we won't vassalize them. Alright, if we reload the save. It's more important to me that we uh, reach those victory conditions. And then the fact that that didn't go off means that a vassalize doesn't count as them being gone. I think it should count as them being gone. It should be destroy or vassalize, in my opinion. Because if you can force them to be your vassals, then happy days. Right, oh wait, mm -mm, it's actually going pretty fast, I was going to say. I'll probably pause and then start up again. Five, four, three, two, one. Because for the loading screens, if they're not too long, I like, like as long as I've got something to talk about. I don't mind leaving them in as long as they're short enough. There we go. Let's get back here. All we did was this, basically, Bring wasn't it? Why can I not? Oh, yeah, because we ended turn. Oh, no! You dare? Ah, we didn't need replenishment anyway. That's Just fine. We didn't need replenishment. Forgetting it's the I forgot it was the end turn is when it says so as just before you hit end turn it's the save basically. So I need to end turn and then attack. I forgot saves. So we can quickly redo that. It's a pity we're not gonna get another vassal, but oh well we can make others. And turn Kolik into the beast that he is. Yes. Boom. Right, 
and this time we will raise. Our spirit remain unbroken. Right, and then we'll come back in here. We'll give these guys their points again, exactly the same as we did before. And I think that's all we've done this turn, so that's good. So now when I hit end turn, we just need to do these. Occupy, loot, or raise, or sack 35 different settlements. So we need to get for these, and this should... Oh! Maybe this will have ticked off then. Maybe I could have vassalized them. Oh damn it, I wish I hit end turn to test it. Now we just need to go on a murder hobo rampage through the lands. And so who are we going to pick on next? Maybe this faction, because they seem to be pretty big and around here. Bring fire, the Kraken Lord comes, and all you may do is beg. I think we're going to go after him next. For the simple fact he's only got one territory. I thought he had a fortress that we could conquer. Hmm. So maybe he doesn't have a fortress. I thought he did. Mistakes were made. We should have vassalized and then tested. But then I wouldn't have been able to just instantly reload. I would have had to actually have had to save. So maybe it's a good thing we didn't. Because I want to make sure that we can reach those goals. Chaos. We want to move you. Wait, their agent's still there. I thought that was their last territory. I serve only the dragons. Let's end turn and see what happens anyway. Only problem with my vassals now is they're slowing down my victory conditions. Because they're attacking it in the way I thought I raised it. Oh, they recolonized it. How very nice of them. How very nice of them. Because they took the Terracotta Graveyard, for example. And my vassal took it now. Yep, there we go. Faction destroyed. Alright, technology received. Which you can see it's still negative one in there. Right. What? I think we move right over to the border here and get ready to attack in there. A glorifying act. As for here. See, there is marauders. We're making a good amount of money each turn, so I could get a load of marauders and get ready to promote them. See, technology, what we're researching right now. Eight turns for that, I think. What am I researching right now? There's some things in four turns. Ah, mystical banners. Let's get this one. Which will allow me to get corn stuff. Chaos Knights. War Machines. What's we'll it for Chaos War Shrine units? The dark there we go. The Mountains Call. The Mountains Call. 
you there? Get them in there. Could have a mad cord in there just for the funsies. Got money. Spread ruin on them. Spread ruin on them. I don't know where we're going to you. We shall see. Oh, very nice. Yes, please, get me that. That has finished. Oh, very nice again. Once again, get me that. Money, 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 money. An amount of money to buy stuff. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay yes. You know what? I've already got the 200 souls I need to get this guy. His promotion. Oh, wait, I need to get you one too, don't I? Path to Glory. Dedicate to corn, dedicate to slanesh. You can only be one or the other. You can be zinch or slanesh. So I think I'm gonna go slanesh and co oh wait, no slanesh and corn hate each other. So zinch and corn. So if this guy goes zinch, then you go. Corn. So I need 5,000 in the bank for both of them upgrades. So we'll say, oh, we've got that 500 in the bank. So we'll get a wee bit more because it tickles, ticks away every turn. So we want some more in the bank. But this will be a part. So I'm going to say, I hope you have all enjoyed it. Join me all next time. We're going to keep expanding into these lands, expanding south. And just gobbling up, well, destroying land, letting my vassals colonize it. My vassals make more money, they give me more money. We can just throw more money at the situation and we can have a very good time. Hope you've all enjoyed it. I'll see you all next time. Bye, see, bye. <laughs>